a chill books original. Rumi. A collection of exquisite poems by Jalal Aldine Rumi. O314. Those who don't feel this love pulling them like a river, those who don't drink dawn like a cup of spring water, or take in sunset like supper, those who don't want to change, let them sleep. This love is beyond the study of theology, that old trickery and hypocrisy. If you want to improve your mind that way, sleep on. I've given up on my brain. I've torn the cloth to shreds and thrown it away. If you're not completely naked, wrap your beautiful robe of words around you and sleep. A moment of happiness. A moment of happiness, you and I sitting on the veranda. Apparently two, but one in soul, you and I. We feel the flowing water of life here, you and I, with the garden's beauty and the birds singing. The stars will be watching us, and we will show them what it is to be a thin crescent moon. You and I unselfed, will be together, indifferent to idle speculation, you and I. The parrots of heaven will be cracking sugar as we laugh together, you and I. In one form upon this earth, and in another form in a timeless sweet land. A new rule. It is the rule with drunkards to fall upon each other, to quarrel, become violent, and make a scene. The lover is even worse than a drunkard. I will tell you what love is, to enter a mine of gold. And what is that gold? The lover is a king above all kings, unafraid of death, not at all interested in a golden crown. The dervish has a pearl concealed under his patched cloak. Why should he go begging door to door? Last night that moon came along, drunk, dropping clothes in the street. Get up, I told my heart, give the soul a glass of wine. The moment has come to join the nightingale in the garden, to taste sugar with the soul parrot. I have fallen, with my heart shattered where else but on your path. And I, broke your bowl, drunk my idol, so drunk, don't let me be harmed, take my hand. A new rule, a new law has been born, break all the glasses and fall toward the glass blower. A stone I died. A stone I died and rose again a plant. A plant I died and rose an animal. I died an animal and was born a man. Why should I fear? What have I lost by death? All through eternity. All through eternity, beauty unveils his exquisite form in the solitude of nothingness. He holds a mirror to his face and beholds his own beauty. He is the knower and the known, the seer and the seen. No eye but his own has ever looked upon this universe. His every quality finds an expression, eternity becomes the verdant field of time and space. Love, the life-giving garden of this world. Every branch and leaf and fruit reveals an aspect of his perfection. They cypress give hint of his majesty. The rose gives tidings of his beauty. Whenever beauty looks, love is also there. Whenever beauty shows a rosy cheek, love lights her fire from that flame. When beauty dwells in the dark folds of night, love comes and finds a heart entangled in tresses. Beauty and love are as body and soul. Beauty is the mine, love is the diamond. They have together, since the beginning of time, side by side, step by step. Any lifetime. Any lifetime that is spent without seeing the master is either death in disguise or a deep sleep. The water that pollutes you is poison. The poison that purifies you is water. Any soul that drank the nectar. Any soul that drank the nectar of your passion was lifted. From that water of life he is in a state of elation. Death came, smelled me, and sensed your fragrance instead. From then on, death lost all hope of me. At the twilight. At the twilight, a moon appeared in the sky, then it landed on earth to look at me. Like a hawk stealing a bird at the time of prey, that moon stole me and rushed back into the sky. I looked at myself, I did not see me anymore, for in that moon, my body turned as fine as soul. 
The nine spheres disappeared in that moon, the ship of my existence drowned in that sea. Bad dreams. One day you will look back and laugh at yourself. You'll say, I can't believe I was so asleep. How did I ever forget the truth? How ridiculous to believe that sadness and sickness are anything other than bad dreams. Be lost in the call. Lord, said David, since you do not need us, why did you create these two worlds? Reality replied, O prisoner of time, I was a secret treasure of kindness and generosity, and I wished this treasure to be known. So I created a mirror, its shining face, the heart, its darkened back, the world. The back would please you if you've never seen the face. Has anyone ever produced a mirror out of mud and straw? Yet clean away the mud and straw, and a mirror might be revealed. Until the juice ferments a while in the cask, it isn't wine. If you wish your heart to be bright, you must do a little work. Miking addressed the soul of my flesh, you return just as you left. Where are the traces of my gifts? We know that alchemy transforms copper into gold. This son doesn't want a crown or robe from God's grace. He is a hat to a hundred bald men, a covering for ten who were naked. Jesus sat humbly on the back of an ass, my child. How good is Ephoride an ass? Spirit, find your way, in seeking lowness like a stream. Reason, tread the path of selflessness into eternity. Remember God so much that you are forgotten. Let the caller and the called disappear, be lost in the call. Be with those who help your being. Be with those who help your being. Don't sit with indifferent people whose breath comes cold out of their mouths. Not these visible forms, your work is deeper. A chunk of dirt thrown in the air breaks to pieces. If you don't try to fly, and so break yourself apart, you will be broken open by death when it's too late for all you could become. Leaves get yellow. The tree puts out fresh roots and makes them green. Why are you so content with a love that turns you yellow? Because I cannot sleep. Because I cannot sleep, I make music at night. I am troubled by the one whose face has the color of spring flowers. I have neither sleep nor patience, neither a good reputation nor disgrace. A thousand robes of wisdom are gone. All my good manners have moved a thousand miles away. The heart and the mind are left angry with each other. The stars and the moon are envious of each other. Because of this alienation, the physical universe is getting tighter and tighter. The moon says, how long will I remain suspended without a sun, without love's jewel inside of me? Let the bazaar of my existence be destroyed stone by stone. O oh love, you who have been called by a thousand names, you who know how to pour the wine into the chalice of the body, you who give culture to a thousand cultures, you who are faceless but have a thousand faces. O oh love, you who shape the faces of Turks, Europeans, and Zanzibaris, give me a glass from your bottle, or a handful of being from your branch. Remove the cork once more, then we'll see a thousand chiefs prostrate themselves, and a circle of ecstatic troubadours will play. Then the addict will be freed of craving, and will be resurrected, and stand in idle judgment day, Behind the scenes. Is it your face that adorns the garden? Is it your fragrance that intoxicates this garden? Is it your spirit that has made this brook a river of wine? Hundreds have looked for you and died searching in this garden where you hide behind the scenes. But this bane is not for those who come as lovers. You are easy to find here. You are in the breeze and in this river of wine Birdsong Birdsong brings relief to my longing. I'm just as ecstatic as they are, but with nothing to say. Please universal soul, practice some song or something through me. Book 1 Prologue Hearken to the reed flute, how it complains, lamenting its banishment from its home. Ever since they tore me from my osier bed, 
My plaintive notes have moved men and women to tears. I burst my breast, striving to give vent to sighs and to express the pangs of my yearning for my home. He who abides far away from his home is ever longing for the day he shall return. My wailing is heard in every throng, in concert with them that rejoice and them that weep. Each interprets my notes in harmony with his own feelings, but not one fathoms the secrets of my heart. My secrets are not alien from my plaintive notes, yet they are not manifest to the sensual eye and ear. Body is not veiled from soul, neither soul from body, yet no man hath ever seen a soul. This plaint of the flute is fire, not mere air. Let him who lacks this fire be accounted dead. Tis the fire of love that inspires the flute, else is the ferment of love that possesses the wine. The flute is the confidant of all unhappy lovers, yea, its strains lay bare my inmost secrets. Who hath seen a poison and an antidote like the flute? Who hath seen a sympathetic consoler like the flute? The flute tells the tale of love's blood-stained path. It recounts the story of Majnun's love toils. None is privy to these feelings save one distracted, as ear inclines to the whispers of the tongue. Through grief my days are as labor and sorrow. My days move on, hand in hand with anguish. Yet, though my days vanish thus, tis no matter, do thou abide, O incomparable pure one. But all who are not fishes are soon tired of water, and they who lack daily bread find the day very long, so the raw comprehend not the state of the ripe. Therefore it behooves me to shorten my discourse. Arise, O sun, burst thy bonds and be free. How long wilt thou be captive to silver and gold? Though thou pour the ocean into thy pitcher, it can hold no more than one day's store. The pitcher of the desire of the covetous never fills, the oyster shell fills not with pearls till it is content, only he whose garment is rent by the violence of love is wholly pure from covetousness and sin. Hail to thee, then, O love, sweet madness, thou who healest all our infirmities, who art the physician of our pride and self-conceit, who art our Plato and our Galen. Love exalts our earthly bodies to heaven and makes the very hills to dance with joy. O oh, I over, t'was love that gave life to Mount Sinai, when it quaked and Moses fell down in a swoon. Did my beloved only touch me with his lips, I too, like the flute, would burst out in melody. But he who is parted from them that speak his tongue, though he possess a hundred voices, is perforce dumb. When the rose has faded and the garden is withered, the song of the nightingale is no longer to be heard. The beloved is all in all, the lover only veils him. The beloved is all that lives, the lover a dead thing. When the lover feels no longer love's quickening, he becomes like a bird who has lost its wings. Alas, how can I retain my senses about me when the beloved shows not the light of his countenance? Love desires that this secret should be revealed, for if a mirror reflects not, of what use is it? Knowest thou why thy mirror reflects not? Because the rust has not been scoured from its face. If it were purifying from all rust and defilement, it would reflect the shining of the Son of God. O friends, ye have now heard this tale, which sets forth the very essence of my case. Come, come, whoever you are, Wanderer, worshipper, lover of leaving, it doesn't matter. Ours is not a caravan of despair. Come, even if you have broken your vow a thousand times, come yet again, come, come. Confused and distraught. Again I am raging. I am in such a state by your soul that every bond you bind, I break by your soul. I am like heaven, like the moon, like a candle by your glow, I am all reason, all love, all soul, by your soul. My joy is of your doing, my hangover of your thorn, whatever side you turn your face, I turn mine, by your soul. I spoke in error, it is not surprising to speak in error in this state, for this moment I cannot tell cup from wine, by your soul. 
I am that madman in bonds who binds the divs, I, the madman, am a Solomon with the divs, by your soul. Whatever form other than love raises up its head from my heart, forthwith I drive it out of the court of my heart, by your soul. Come, you who have departed, for the thing that departs comes back, neither you are that, by my soul, nor I am that, by your soul. Disbeliever, do not conceal disbelief in your soul, for I will recite the secret of your destiny, by your soul, out of love of Shamit Abrizi, through wakefulness or night rising, like a spinning motai and distraught, by your soul, defeated by love. The sky was lit by the splendor of the moon, so powerful, I fell to the ground, your love has made me sure. I am ready to forsake this worldly life and surrender to the magnificence of your being. Description of Love A true lover is proved such by his pain of heart, no sickness is there like sickness of heart. The lover's ailment is different from all ailments, love is the astrolabe of God's mysteries. A lover may hanker after this love or that love, but at the last he is drawn to the king of love. However much we describe and explain love, when we fall in love we are ashamed of our words. Explanation by the tongue makes most things clear, but love unexplained is clearer. When pen hasted to write, on reaching the subject of love it split and twain. When the discourse touched on the matter of love, pen was broken and paper torn. In explaining it reason sticks fast, as an ass in mire, not but love itself can explain love and lovers. None but the sun can display the sun. If you would see it displayed, turn not away from it. Shadows, indeed, may indicate the sun's presence, but only the sun displays the light of life. Shadows induce slumber, like evening talks, but when the sun arises the moon is split asunder. In the world there is not so wondrous as the sun, but the sun of the soul sets not and has no yesterday. Though the material sun is unique and single, we can conceive similar suns like to it. But the sun of the soul, beyond this firmament, no like thereof is seen in concrete or abstract. Where is there room in conception for his essence, so that similitudes of him should be conceivable? Did I not say to you, did I not say to you, go not there, for I am your friend, in this mirage of annihilation I am the fountain of life. Even though in anger you depart a hundred thousand years from me, in the end you will come to me, for I am your goal. Did I not say to you, be not content with worldly forms, for I am the fashioner of the tabernacle of your contentment. Did I not say to you, I am the sea and you are a single fish, go not to dry land, for I am your crystal sea. Did I not say to you, go not like birds to the snare, come, for I am the power of flight and your wings and feet. Did I not say to you, they will waylay you and make you cold, for I am the fire and warmth and heat of your desire. Did I not say to you, they will implant in you ugly qualities so that you will forget that I am the source of purity to you, did I not say to you, do not say from what direction the servant's affairs come into order. I am the creator without directions. If you are the lamp of the heart, know where the road is to the house. And if you are godlike of attribute, know that I am your master. Do you love me? I lover asked his beloved, do you love yourself more than you love me? The beloved replied, I have died to myself and I live for you. I've disappeared from myself and my attributes. I am present only for you. I have forgotten all my learning, but from knowing you, I have become a scholar. I have lost all my strength, but from your power, I am able. If I love myself, I love you. If I love you, I love myself. Draw it now from eternity's jar. Come, come, awaken all true drunkards, pour the wine that is life itself. O cup-bearer of the eternal wine, draw it now from eternity's jar. This wine doesn't run down the throat, but it looses torrents of words. Cup-bearer, make my soul fragrant as musk, 
This noble soul of mine that knows the invisible, pour out the wine for the morning drinkers. Pour them this subtle and priceless musk. Pass it around to everyone in the assembly, in the cups of your blazing drunken eyes. Pass a filter from your eyes to everyone else's in a way the mouth knows nothing of. For this is the way cupbearers always offer, the holy and mysterious wine to lovers. Hurry, the eyes of every atom in creation, are famished for this flaming out of splendor. Procure for yourself this fragrance of musk, and with it split open the breast of heaven. The waves of the fragrance of this musk, drive all Joseph's out of their minds forever. Every day I bear a burden. Every day I bear a burden, and I bear this calamity for a purpose. I bear the discomfort of cold and December snow in hope of spring. Before the fatten up of all who are lean, I'd rag this so emaciated body. Though they expel me from two hundred cities, I bear it for the sake of the love of a prince. Though my shop and house be laid waste, I bear it in fidelity to a tulip bed. God's love is a very strong fortress. I carry my soul's baggage inside a fortress. I bear the arrogance of every stone-hearted stranger for the sake of a friend, of one long-suffering, for the sake of his ruby eye to gout mountains and mine, for the sake of that rose-laden one eye endure a thorn, for the sake of those two intoxicating eyes of his, like the intoxicated eye in your crop sickness, for the sake of a quarry not to be contained in a snare, I spread out the snare and decoy of the hunter. He said, Will you bear this sorrow till the resurrection? Yes, friend, I bear it, I bear it. My breast is the cave and Shamsi Tabrizi is the companion of the cave. Gazelle 119 I don't need a companion who is nasty, sad, and sour. The one who is like a grave, dark, depressing, and bitter. A sweetheart is a mirror, a friend, a delicious cake it isn't worth spending an hour with anyone else, a companion who is in love only with the self has five distinct characters. Stone-hearted, unsure of every step, lazy and disinterested, keeping a poisonous face. The more this companion waits around, the more bitter everything will get. Just like a vinegar, getting more sour with time, enough is said about sour and bitter faces. A heart filled with desire for sweetness and tender souls, must not waste itself with unsavory matters. Gazelle 314 You who are not kept anxiously awake for love's sake, sleep on. In restless search for that river, we hurry along. You whose heart such anxiety has not disturbed, sleep on. Love's place is out beyond the many separate sects, since you love choosing and excluding, sleep on. Love's dawn cup is our sunrise, his dusk our supper, you whose longing is for sweets and whose passion is for supper, sleep on. In search of the philosopher's stone, we are melting like copper, you whose philosopher's stone is cushion and pillow, sleep on. I have abandoned hope for my brain and head, you who wish for a clear head and fresh brain, sleep on. I have torn speech like a tattered robe and let words go, you who are still dressed in your clothes, sleep on. Gazal of Rumi I was dead, then alive, weeping, then laughing. The power of love came into me, and I became fierce like a lion, then tender like the evening star. He said, you're not mad enough. You don't belong in this house. I went wild and had to be tied up. He said, still not wild enough to stay with us. I broke through another layer into joyfulness. He said, it's not enough. I died. Here I am. All night, a man called Allah until his lips were bleeding. Then the devil said, he, Mr. Gullible, how comes you've been calling all night and never once heard Allah say, her I am. You call out so earnestly and in reply, what? I'll tell you what, nothing. The man suddenly felt empty and abandoned. Depressed, he threw himself on the ground and fell into a deep sleep. In a dream, he met Abraham, who asked, WHY ARE YOU REGRETTING PRAISING ALLAH? 
The man said, I called and called, but Allah never replied, here I am. Abraham explained, Allah has said, your calling my name is my reply. Your longing for me is my message to you. All your attempts to reach me are in reality my attempts to reach you. Your fear and love are a noose to catch me. In the silence surrounding every call of Allah waits a thousand replies of here I am. How long? How long will you think about this painful life? How long will you think about this harmful world? The only thing it can take from you is your body. Don't say all this rubbish and stop thinking. I am a sculptor, a molder of form. I am a sculptor, a molder of form. In every moment I shape an idol. But then in front of you, I melt them down. I can rouse a hundred forms and fill them with spirit. But when I look into your face, I want to throw them in the fire. My soul spills into yours and is blended. Because my soul has absorbed your fragrance, I cherish it. Every drop of blood I spill informs the earth. I merge with my beloved when I participate in love. In this house of mud and water, my heart has fallen to ruins. Enter this house, my love, or let me leave. I am and I am not. I'm drenched in the flood, which has yet to come. I'm tied up in the prison, which has yet to exist. Not having played the game of chess, I'm already the checkmate. Not having tasted a single cup of your wine, I'm already drunk. Not having entered the battlefield, I'm already wounded and slain. I no longer know the difference between image and reality. Like the shadow by am and by am not. Translated by Feria Down Kier. I am only the house of your beloved. I am only the house of your beloved, not the beloved herself. True love is for the treasure, not for the coffer that contains it. The real beloved is that one who is unique, who is your beginning and your end. When you find that one, you'll no longer expect anything else. That is both the manifest and the mystery. That one is the lord of states of feeling dependent on none, month and year are slaves to that moon. When he bids the state, it does his bidding. When that one wills, bodies become spirit. I am part of the load. I am part of the load, not rightly balanced. I drop off in the grass, like the old cave sleepers, to browse wherever I fall. For hundreds of thousands of years I have been dust grunts floating and flying in the will of the air, often forgetting ever being in that state, but in sleep, I migrate back. I spring loose from the four-branched time and space grass, this waiting room. I walk into a huge pasture. I nurse the milk of millennia. Everyone does this in different ways. Knowing that conscious decisions and personal memory are much too small a place to live, Every human being streams at night, into the loving nowhere, or during the day, in some absorbing work. I closed my eyes to creation. I closed my eyes to creation when I beheld his beauty, I became intoxicated with his beauty and bestowed my soul. For the sake of Solomon's seal I became wax in all my body, and in order to become illumined I rubbed my wax. I saw his opinion and cast away my own twisted opinion, I became his reed pipe and likewise lamented on his lip. He was in my hand, and blindly I groped for him with my hand, I was in his hand, and yet I inquired of those who were misinformed. I must have been either a simpleton or drunk or mad that fearfully I was stealing from my own gold. Like a thief I crept through a crack in the wall into my own vine. Like a thief I gather jasmine from my own garden. Enough, do not twist my secret upon your fingertips, for I have twisted off out of your twisted fist. Shamsi Tabriz, from whom comes the light of moon and stars thought I am grieving with sorrow for him. I am like the crescent of the festival. I have a fire for you in my mouth. I have a fire for you in my mouth but I have a hundred seals on my tongue. 
the flames which I have in my heart would make one mouthful of both worlds, though the entire world should pass away. Without the world I possess the kingdom of a hundred worlds. Caravans which are loaded with sugar, I have in motion for the Egypt of non-existence. The drunkenness of love makes me unaware, whether I have profit of loss they from. The body's eye was scattering pearls because of love, till now I have a pearl scattering soul. I am not housebound, for like Jesus I have a home in the fourth heaven. Thanks be to him who gives soul to the body. If the soul should depart, yet I have the soul of the soul. Seek from me that which Shamsi Tabrizi has bestowed, for I have the same. I have been tricked by flying too close. I have been tricked by flying too close to what I thought I loved. Now the candle flame is out, the wine spilled, and the lovers have withdrawn somewhere beyond my squinting. The amount I thought I'd won, I've lost. My prayers becomes bitter and all about blindness. How wonderful it was to be for a while with those who surrender. Others only turn their faces on way, then another, like pigeon in flight. I have known pigeons who fly in a nowhere, and birds that eat grainlessness, and tailor who sew beautiful clothes by tearing them to pieces. I have fallen into unconsciousness. I have got out of my own control. I have fallen into unconsciousness. In my utter unconsciousness how joyful I am with myself. The darling sewed up my eyes so that I might not see other than him, so that suddenly I opened my eyes on his face. My soul fought with me saying, do not pain me, I said, take your divorce. She said, grant it, I granted it. When my mother saw on my cheek the brand of your love she cut my umbilical cord on that, the moment I was born. If I travel to heaven and read the tablet of the unseen, O you who are my soul's salvation, without you how I am ruined. When you cast aside the veil the dead become alive, the light of your face reminded me of the covenant of a last. When I became lost, O soul, through love of the king of the Paris, hidden from self and creatures, I am as if paraborn myself. I said to the Tabriz of Shamsedin, O body, what are you? Body said, earth, soul said, I am distraught like the wind. I see so deeply within myself. I see so deeply within myself. Not needing my eyes, I can see everything clearly. Why would I want to bother my eyes again, now that I see the world through his eyes? I swear. I swear, since seeing your face, the whole world is fraud and fantasy. The garden is bewildered as to what is leaf or blossom. The distracted birds can't distinguish the bird seed from the snare. A house of love with no limits, a presence more beautiful than Venus or the moon, a beauty whose image fills the mirror of the heart. I throw it all away. You play with the great globe of union, you that see everyone so clearly and cannot be seen. Even universal intelligence gets blurry when it thinks you may leave. You came here alone, but you create hundreds of new worlds. Spring is a peacock flirting with revelation, the rose garden's flame. Ocean enters the boat. I throw it all away, except this love for shams. Translation by Coleman Barks I will beguile him with the tongue. Reason says, I will beguile him with the tongue. Love says, be silent. I will beguile him with the soul. The soul says to the heart, go, do not laugh at me and yourself. What is there that is not his, that I may beguile him thereby? He is not sorrowful and anxious and seeking oblivion that I may beguile him with wine and a heavy measure. The arrow of his glance needs not a bow that I should beguile the shaft of his gaze with a bow. He is not prisoner of the world, fettered to this world of earth, that I should beguile him with gold of the kingdom of the world. He is an angel, though in form he is a man, he is not lustful that I should beguile him with women. Angels start away from the house where in this form is, so how should I beguile him with such a form and likeness? 
He does not take a flock of horses, since he flies on wings, his food is light, so how should I beguile him with bread? He is not a merchant and trafficker in the market of the world, that I should beguile him with enchantment of grain and loss. He is not veiled that I should make myself out sick and utter sighs, to beguile him with lamentation. I will bind my head and bow my head, for I have got out of hand, I will not beguile his compassion with sickness or fluttering. Hair by hair he sees my crookedness and feigning, what's hidden from him that I should beguile him with anything hidden. He is not a seeker of fame, a prince addicted to poets, that I should beguile him with verses and lyrics and flowing poetry. The glory of the unseen form is too great for me to beguile it with blessing or paradise. Shamsi Tabriz, who is his chosen and beloved perchance I will beguile him with this same pole of the age. If a tree could wander, oh, if a tree could wander and move with foot and wings, it would not suffer the axe blows and not the pain of saws. For would the sun not wander away in every night? How could at every morning the world be lighted up? And if the ocean's water would not rise to the sky, how would the plants be quickened by streams and gentle rain? The drop that left its homeland, the sea, and then returned. It found an oyster waiting and grew into a pearl. Did Yusuf not leave his father in grief and tears and despair? Did he not, by such a journey, gain kingdom and fortune wide? Did not the prophet travel to far Medina, friend? And there he found a new kingdom and ruled a hundred lands. You lack a foot to travel, then journey into yourself. And like a mine of rubies receive the sunbeams, print, out of yourself. Such a journey will lead you to yourself. It leads to transformation of dust into pure gold. If I weep, if I weep, if I come with excuses, my beloved puts cotton wool in his ears. Every cruelty which he commits becomes him, every cruelty which he commits I endure. If he accounts me non-existent, I account his tyranny generosity. The cure of the age of my heart is the age for him, how shall I not surrender my heart to his age? Only then are glory and respect mine, when his glorious love renders me contemptible. Only then does the vine of my body become wine, when the wine presser stamps on me and spurns me underfoot. I yield my soul like grapes under the trampling, that my secret heart may make merry, though the grapes weep only blood, for I am vexed with this cruelty and tyranny. He who pounds upon me puts cotton wool in his ears, saying, I do not press unwittingly. If you disbelieve, you are excusable, but I am the Abul Haikam in this affair. When you burst under the labor of my feet, then you will render much thanks to me. If you show patience, if you show patience, I'll rid you of this virtue. If you fall asleep, I'll rub the sleep from your eyes. If you become a mountain, I'll melt you in fire. And if you become an ocean, I'll drink all your water. If you want what visible reality, if you want what visible reality can give, you're an employee. If you want the unseen world, you're not living your truth. Both wishes are foolish, but you'll be forgiven for forgetting that what you really want is love's confusing joy. In love. In love, aside from sipping the wine of timelessness, nothing else exists. There is no reason for living except for giving one's life. I said, first I know you, then I die. He said, for the one who knows me, there is no dying. In the arc of your malay, don't go anywhere without me. Let nothing happen in the sky apart from me, or on the ground, in this world or that world, without my being in its happening. Vision, see nothing I don't see. Language, say nothing. The way the night knows itself with the moon, be that with me, be the rose, nearest to the thorn that I am. I want to feel myself in you when you taste food, in the arc of your malay when you work, when you visit friends, when you go up on the roof by yourself at night. There's nothing worse than to walk out along the street without you. 
I don't know where I'm going. You're the road and the knower of roads more than maps, more than love. In the end, in the end, the mountains of imagination were nothing but a house, and this grand life of mine was nothing but an excuse. You've been hearing my story so patiently for a lifetime, now hear this, it was nothing but a fairy tale. In the waters of purity, in the waters of purity, I melted like salt, neither blasphemy nor faith nor conviction nor doubt remained. In the center of my heart a star has appeared and all the seven heavens have become lost in it. Layla and the Khalifa The Khalifa said to Layla, Art thou really she, for whom Majnun lost his head and went distracted? Thou art not fairer than many other fair ones. She replied, Be silent, thou art not Majnun. If thou hadst Majnun's eyes, the two worlds would be within thy view. Thou art in thy senses, but Majnun is beside himself. In love to be wide awake is treason. The more a man is awake, the more he sleeps to love, his critical wakefulness is worse than slumbering. Our wakefulness fetters our spirits. Then our souls are a prey to divers whims, thoughts of loss and gain and fears of misery. They retain not purity, nor dignity, nor lusta, nor aspiration to soar heavenwards. That one is really sleeping who hankers after each whim and holds parley with each fancy. Last night my soul cried, O exalted sphere of heaven. Last night my soul cried, O exalted sphere of heaven, you hang indeed inverted, with flames in your belly, without sin and crime, eternally revolving upon your body in its complaining is the indigo of mourning. Now happy, now unhappy, like Abraham in the fire, at once king and beggar like Ibrahim Yadham. In your form you are terrifying, yet your state is full of anguish, you turn round like a millstone and writhe like a snake. Heaven the blessed replied, how should I not fear that one who makes the paradise of the world as hell? In his hand earth is as wax, he makes it zangi and rumi, he makes it falcon and owl, he makes it sugar and poison. He is hidden, friend, and has set us forth thus patent so that he may become concealed. How should the ocean of the world be concealed under straws? The straws have been set a-dancing, the waves tumbling up and down, your body is like the land floating on the waters of the soul, your soul is veiled in the body alike in wedding feast or sorrow. In the veil you are a new bride, hot-tempered and obstinate, he is railing sweetly at the good and the bad of the world. Through him the earth is a green meadow, the heavens are unresting, on every side through him a fortunate one pardoned and preserved. Reason a seeker of certainty through him, patience a seeker of help through him, love seeing the unseen through him, earth taking the form of Adam through him. Air seeking and searching, water hand washing, we Messiah like speaking, earth merry like silent. Behold the sea with its billows circling round the earthy ship, behold Kaabas and Meccas at the bottom of this well of Zamzam. The king says, be silent, do not cast yourself into the well, for you do not know how to make a bucket and a rope out of my withered stumps. Last night you left me and slept. Last night you left me and slept, your own deep sleep. Tonight you turn and turn. I say, you and I will be together till the universe dissolves. You mumble back things you thought of when you were drunk. Late by myself, late by myself, in the boat of myself, no light and no land anywhere, cloud cover thick. I try to stay just above the surface, yet I'm already under and living with the ocean. Let go of your worries. Let go of your worries and be completely clear-hearted, like the face of a mirror that contains no images. If you want a clear mirror, behold yourself and see the shameless truth which the mirror reflects. If metal can be polished to a mirror-like finish, what polishing might the mirror of the heart require? Between the mirror and the heart is this single difference, the heart conceals secrets. 
while the mirror does not let me be mad O oh, incomparable giver of life cut reason loose at last let it wander greed from vanity to vanity shatter open my skull pour in it the wine of madness let me be mad as you mad with you with us beyond the sanity of fools is a burning desert where your sun is whirling in every atom beloved drag me there let me roast in perfection light breeze as regards feeling pain like a hand cut in battle consider the body robe you wear when you meet someone you love do you kiss their clothes search out who's inside union with god is sweeter than body comforts we have hands and feet different from these sometimes in dream we see them that is not illusion it's seeing truly you do have a spirit body don't dread leaving the physical one sometimes someone feels this truth so strongly that he or she can live in mountain solitude totally refreshed the worried heroic doings of men and women seem weary and futile to dervishes enjoying the light breeze of spirit light up the fire i gaze into the heart lowly it may be thought the words be higher still for the heart is all the substance the speech and accident how many phrases will you speak too many for me how much burning burning will you feel be friendly with the fire enough for me light up the fire of love inside and blaze the thoughts away like this if anyone asks you how the perfect satisfaction of all our sexual wanting will look lift your face and say like this when someone mentions the gracefulness of the night sky climb up on the roof and dance and say like this if anyone wants to know what spirit is or what god's fragrance means lean your head toward him or her keep your face there close like this when someone quotes the old poetic image about clouds gradually uncovering the moon slowly loosen not by not the strings of your robe like this if anyone wonders how jesus raised the dead don't try to explain the miracle kiss me on the lips like this like this when someone asks what it means to die for love point here if someone asks how tall i am frown and measure with your fingers the space between the creases on your forehead this doll the soul sometimes leaves the body the returns when someone doesn't believe that walk back into my house like this when lovers moan they're telling our story like this i am a sky where spirits live stare into this deepening blue while the breeze says a secret like this when someone asks what there is to do light the candle in his hand like this how did joseph sent come to jacob who how did jacob's sight return who a little wind cleans the eyes like this when shams comes back from tabriz he'll put just his head around the edge of the door to surprise us like this lord what a beloved is mine lord what a beloved is mine i have a sweet quarry i possess in my breast a hundred meadows from his reed when in anger the messenger comes and repairs towards me he says whither are you fleeing i have business with you last night i asked the new moon concerning my moon the moon said i am running in his wake my foot is in his dust when the sun arose i said how yellow a face you are the sun said out of shame for his countenance i have a face of gold water you are prostrate you are running on your head and face water said because of his incantation i move like a snake noble fire why do you writhe so fire said because of the lightning of his face my heart is restless wine messenger of the world why are you light of heart wind said my heart would burn if the choice were mine earth what are you meditation silent and watchful earth said within me i have a garden and spring pass over these elements god is our succorer my head is aching in my hand i hold wine if you have barred sleep to us the way of intoxication is open 
Since I have one to assist, he offers wine in both hands. Be silent, that without this tongue the heart may speak. When I hear the speech of the heart, I feel ashamed of this speech. Love Are you fleeing from love because of a single humiliation? What do you know of love except the name? Love has a hundred forms of pride and disdain, and is gained by a hundred means of persuasion. Since love is loyal, it purchases one who is loyal, it has no interest in a disloyal companion. The human being resembles a tree, its root is a covenant with God, that root must be cherished with all one's might. A weak covenant is a rotten root, without grace or fruit. Though the boughs and leaves of the date palm are green, greenness brings no benefit if the root is corrupt. If a branch is without green leaves, yet has a good root, a hundred leaves will put forth their hands in the end. Love and Imagination Love and imagination are magicians, who create an image of the beloved in your mind with which you share your secret intimate moments. This apparition is made of nothing at all, but from its mouth comes the question, my not your loved one, and from you the soft reply. Love has nothing to do with the five senses. Love has nothing to do with the five senses and the six directions. Its goal is only to experience the attraction exerted by the beloved. Afterwards, perhaps permission will come from God the secrets that ought to be told will be told with an eloquence nearer to the understanding of these subtle confusing illusions. The secret is partner with none, but the knower of the secret, in the skeptic seer, the secret is no secret at all. Love is reckless. Love is reckless, not reason. Reason seeks a profit. Love comes on strong, consuming herself, unabashed. Yet, in the midst of suffering, love proceeds like a millstone, hard-surfaced and straightforward. Having died of self-interest, she risks everything and asks for nothing. Love gambles away every gift God bestows. Without cause God gave us being, without cause, give it back again. Love is the cure. For your pain will keep giving birth to more pain until your eyes constantly exhale love, as effortlessly as your body yields its scent. Love is the water of life. Everything other than love for the most beautiful God though it be sugar-eating. What is agony of the spirit? To advance toward death without seizing hold of the water of life. Love makes Love makes bitter things sweet. Love turns copper to gold. With love dregs settle into clarity. With love suffering ceases. Love brings the dead back to life. Love transforms the king into a slave. Love is the consummation of gnosis. How could a fool sit on such a throne? Lovers O oh, lovers, lovers it is time to set out from the world. I hear a drum in my soul's ear, coming from the depths of the stars. Our camel driver is at work, the caravan is being readied. He asks that we forgive him, for the disturbance he has caused us. He asks why we travelers are asleep. Everywhere the murmur of departure, the stars, like candles, thrust at us from behind blue veils. And as if to make the invisible plain, a wondrous people have come forth. Masnawi. In the name of God the compassionate, the merciful, the sciences of divine wisdom are God's armies, wherewith he strengthens the spirits of the initiates, and purifies their knowledge from the defilement of ignorance, their justice from the defilement of iniquity, their generosity from the defilement of ostentation, and their forbearance from the defilement of foolishness, and brings near to them whatever was far from them, in respect of the understanding of the state hereafter, and makes easy to them whatever was hard to them, in respect of obedience to him and zealous endeavor to serve him. Masnawi II I died as inanimate matter and arose a plant, 
I died as a plant and rose again an animal. I died as an animal and arose a manual. Why then should I fear to become less by dying? I shall die once again as a man, to rise an angel perfect from head to foot. Again when I suffer dissolution as an angel, I shall become what passes the conception of man. Let me then become non-existent, for non-existence sings to me in organ tones. To him shall we return. Masnawi 3 Men are as demons, and lust of wealth their chain, which drags them forth to toil and chop and field. This chain is made of their fears and anxieties. Deem not that these men have no chain upon them. It causes them to engage in labor and the chase. It forces them to toil in mines and on the sea, it urges them towards good and towards evil. Masnawi 4 So it is with all desires and affections, all loves and fondnesses which people have for every variety of thing, father, mother, heaven, earth, gardens, palaces, branches of knowledge, acts, things to eat and drink. The man of God realizes that all these desires are the desire for God, and all those things are veils. When men pass out of this world and behold that king without those veils, then they will realize that all these things were veils and coverings, their quest being in reality that one thing. All difficulties will then be resolved, and they will hear in their hearts the answer to all questions and all problems, and everything will be seen face to face. Moving Water When you do things from your soul, you feel a river moving in you, a joy. When actions come from another section, the feeling disappears. Don't let others lead you. They may be blind or, worse, vultures. Reach for the rope of God. And what is that? Putting aside self-will. Because of willfulness people sit in jail. The trapped bird's wings are tied, fish sizzle in the skillet. The anger of police is willfulness. You've seen a magistrate inflict visible punishment. Now see the invisible. If you could leave your selfishness, you would see how you've been torturing your soul. We are born and live inside black water in a well. How could we know what an open field of sunlight is? Don't insist on going where you think you want to go. Ask the way to the spring. Your living pieces will form a harmony. There is a moving palace that floats in the air with balconies and clear water flowing through, infinity everywhere, yet contained under a single tent. My burning heart. My heart is burning with love, all can see this flame. My heart is pulsing with passion like waves on an ocean. My friends have become strangers, and I'm surrounded by enemies, but I'm free as the wind, no longer hurt by those who reproach me. I'm at home wherever I am, and in the room of lovers I can see with closed eyes the beauty that dances behind the veils intoxicated with love. I too dance the rhythm of this moving world. I have lost my senses in my world of lovers. Not here. There's courage involved if you want to become truth. There is a broken open place in a lover. Where are those qualities of bravery and sharp compassion in this group? What's the use of old and frozen thought? I want a howling heart. This is not a treasury where gold is stored, this is for copper. We alchemists look for talent that can heat up and change. Lukewarm won't do. Half-hearted holding back, well and oh getting by. Not here. Not intrigued with evening. What the material world values does. Not shine the same in the truth of the soul. You have been interested in your shadow. Look instead directly at the sun. What can we know by just watching the time and space shapes of each other? Someone half awake in the night sees imaginary dangers. The morning star rises. The horizon grows defined. People become friends in a moving caravan. Night birds may think daybreak a kind of darkness because that's all they know. It's a fortunate bird who's not intrigued with evening, who flies in the sun we call shams, Oh love, 
O love, O pure deep love, be here, be now, be all worlds dissolve into your stainless endless radiance. Frail living leaves burn with your brighter than cold stairs, make me your servant, your breath, your core. O you who've gone on pilgrimage, O you who've gone on pilgrimage, where are you? Where, O oh where? Here, here is the beloved. O oh come now, come, O oh come. Your friend, he is your neighbor, he is next to your wall. You, erring in the desert, what air of love is this? If you'd see the beloved's form without any form, you are the house, the master, you are the car but you. Where is a bunch of roses, if you would be this garden? Where, one soul's pearly essence when you're the sea of God. That's true, and yet your troubles may turn to treasures rich. How sad that you yourself fail. Ode 1373 I was dead, then alive, weeping, then laughing. The power of love came into me, and I became fierce like a lion, then tender like the evening star. He said, you're not mad enough. You don't belong in this house. I went wild and had to be tied up. He said, still not wild enough to stay with us. I broke through another layer into joyfulness. He said, it's not enough. I died. He said, you are a clever little man, full of fantasy and doubting. I plucked out my feathers and became a fool. He said, now you are the candle for this assembly. But I'm no candle. Look, I'm scattered smoke. He said, you are the sheik, the guide. But I'm not a teacher. I have no power. He said, you already have wings. I cannot give you wings. But I wanted his wings. I felt like some flightless chicken. Then new events said to me, don't move. A sublime generosity is coming towards you. An old love said, stay with me. I said, I will. You are the fountain of the sun's light. I am a willow shadow on the ground. You make my raggedness silky. The soul at dawn is like darkened water that slowly begins to say thank you, thank you. Then at sunset again, Venus gradually changes into the moon and then the whole night sky. This comes of smiling back at your smile. The chess master says nothing other than moving the silent chess piece. That I am part of the poise of this game makes me amazingly happy. Ode 1620 There is a passion in me that doesn't long for anything from another human being. I was given something else, a cap to wear in both worlds. It fell official. No matter. One morning I went to a place beyond dawn. A source of sweetness that flows and is never less. I have been shown a beauty that would confuse both worlds, but I won't cause that uproar. I am nothing but a head set on the ground as a gift for shams. Ode 1823 I don't get tired of you. Don't grow weary of being compassionate toward me. All this thirst equipment must surely be tired of me, the water jar, the water carrier. I have a thirsty fish in me that can never find enough of what it's thirsty for. Show me the way to the ocean. Break these half measures, these small containers. All this fantasy and grief. Let my house be drowned in the wave that rose last night in the courtyard hidden in the center of my chest. Joseph fell like the moon into my well. The harvest I expected was washed away. But no matter. A fire has risen above my tombstone hat. I don't want learning or dignity or respectability. I want this music and this dawn and the warmth of your cheek against mine. The grief armies assemble, but I'm not going with them. This is how it always is when I finish a poem. A great silence comes over me and I wonder why I ever thought to use language. Ode 1957 An Intellectual An intellectual is all the time showing official. Lovers dissolve and become bewildered. Intellectuals try not to drown, while the whole purpose of loves is drowning. Intellectual invent ways to rest, and then lie down in those beds. Lovers feel ashamed of comforting ideas. You've seen a glob of oil on water. 
that's how a lover sits with intellectuals there, but alone in a circle of himself. Some intellectual tries to give sound advice to a lover. All he hears back is, I love you, I love you, love is musk. Don't deny it when you smell the scent. Love is a tree. Lovers, the shade of the long branches. To the intellectual mind, a child must learn to grow up and be adult. In the station of love, you see old men getting younger and younger. Shams chose to live low in the roots for you. So now, he soars in the air as you sublimely articulating love. Ode 2039 Go to your pillow and sleep, my son. Leave me alone in the passion of this death night. Let the mill turn with your grieving, but stay clear. Don't fall into the river with me. There's no way out, no cure but death. Last night in a dream I saw an old man standing in a garden. It was all love. He held out his hand and said, come toward me. If there is a dragon on this path, that old man has the emerald face that can deflect it. This is enough, I am leaving myself. Bahadun, my son, if you want to be impressively learned, memorize a famous historian and quote him as someone else. O 3079 We've come again to that knee of seacoast no ocean can reach. Tie together all human intellects. They won't stretch to here. The sky bears its neck so beautifully, but gets no kiss. Only a taste. This is the food that everyone wants, wandering the wilderness. Please give us your manna and quail. We're here again with the beloved. This air, a shout these meadow sounds, an astonishing mythology. We've come into the presence of the one who was never apart from us. When the water bag is filling, you know the water carrier's here. The bag leans lovingly against your shoulder. Without you I have no knowledge, no way to touch anyone. When someone chews sugarcane, he's wanting this sweetness. Inside this globe the soul roars like thunder. And now silence, my strict tutor. I won't try to talk about shams. Language cannot touch that presence. Ode 911. On the day I die, when I'm being carried toward the grave, don't weep. Don't say, he's gone. He's gone. Death has nothing to do with going away. The sun sets and the moon sets, but they are not gone. Death is a coming together. The tomb looks like a prison, but it's really release into union. The human seed goes down in the ground like a bucket into the well where Joseph is. It grows and comes up full of some unimagined beauty. Your mouth closes here and immediately opens with a shout of joy there. One swaying being. Love is not condescension, never that, nor books, nor any marking on paper, nor what people say of each other. Love is a tree with branches reaching into eternity and roots set deep in eternity, and no trunk. Have you seen it? The mind cannot. Your desiring cannot. The longing you feel for this love comes from inside you. When you become the friend, your longing will be as the man in the ocean who holds to a piece of wood. Eventually, wood, man, and oceans become one swaying being. One whisper of the beloved, Lovers share a sacred decree to seek the beloved. They roll head over heels, rushing toward the beautiful one like a torrent of water. In truth, everyone is a shadow of the beloved. Our seeking is his seeking. Our words are his words. At times we float o'er the beloved like a dancing stream. At times we are still water, held in his pitcher. At times we boil in a pot turning to vapor that is the job of the beloved. He breathes into my ear until my soul takes on his fragrance. He is the soul of my soul, how can I escape? But why would any soul in this world want to escape from the beloved? He will melt your pride, making you thin as a strand of hair. Yet do not trade, even for both worlds, one strand of his hair. We search for him here and there while looking right at him. Sitting by his side we ask, O oh, beloved, where is the beloved? Enough with such questions. Let silence take you to the core of life. 
all your talk is worthless when compared to one whisper of the beloved. Out beyond ideas. Out beyond ideas of wrongdoing and right doing, there is a field. I'll meet you there. When the soul lies down in that grass, the world is too full to talk about. Ideas, language, even the phrase each other doesn't make any sense. Out of your love, out of your love the fire of youth will rise. In the chest, visions of the soul will rise. If you are going to kill me, kill me, it is all right. When the friend kills, a new life will rise. Passion makes the old medicine new. Passion makes the old medicine new. Passion lops off the bow of weariness. Passion is the elixir that renews. How can there be weariness when passion is present? Oh, don't sigh heavily from fatigue. Seek passion, seek passion, seek passion. Reason says, love says. Reason says, I will beguile him with the tongue. Love says, be silent. I will beguile him with the soul. The soul says to the heart, go, do not laugh at me and yourself. What is there that is not his, that I may beguile him, thereby? He is not sorrowful and anxious and seeking oblivion that I may beguile him with wine and a heavy measure. The arrow of his glance needs not a bow that I should beguile, the shaft of his gaze with a bow. He is not prisoner of the world, fettered to this world of earth, that I should beguile him with gold of the kingdom of the world. He is an angel, though in form he is a man, he is not lustful that I should beguile him with women. Angels start away from the house where in this form is, so how should I beguile him with such a form and likeness? He does not take a flock of horses, since he flies on wings, his food is light, so how should I beguile him with bread? He is not a merchant and trafficker in the market of the world, that I should beguile him with enchantment of grain and loss. He is not veiled that I should make myself out sick and utter sighs, to beguile him with lamentation. I will bind my head and bow my head, for I have got out of hand, I will not beguile his compassion with sickness or fluttering. Hair by hair he sees my crookedness and feigning, what's hidden from him that I should beguile him with anything hidden. He is not a seeker of fame, a prince addicted to poets, that I should beguile him with verses and lyrics and flowing poetry. The glory of the unseen form is too great for me to beguile it, with blessing or paradise. Shamsi Tabriz, who is his chosen and beloved Perchensai, will beguile him with this same pole of the age. Rise, lovers, rise, lovers, that we may go towards heaven, we have seen this world, so let us go to that world. No, no, forethought these two gardens are beautiful and fair, let us pass beyond these two, and go to that gardener. Let us go prostrating to the sea like a torrent, then let us go foaming upon the face of the sea. Let us journey from this street of mourning to the wedding feast, let us go from this saffron face to the face of the Judas tree blossom. Trembling like leaf and twig from fear of falling, our hearts are throbbing, let us go to the abode of security. There is no escape from pain, since we are in exile, and there is no escape from dust, seeing that we are going to a dust bowl. Like parrots green of wing and with fine pinions, let us become sugar gatherers and go to the sugar bed. These forms are signs of the signless fashioner, hidden from the evil eye, come, let us go to the signless. It is a road full of tribulation, but love is the guide, giving us instruction how we should go thereon. Though the shadow of the king's grace surely protects, yet it is better that on that road we go with the caravan. We are like rain falling on a leaky roof, let us spring from the leak and go by that water spout. We are crooked as a bow, for the string is in our own throats. When we become straight, then we will go like an arrow from the bow. We cower like mice in the house because of the cats, if we are lions whelps, let us go to that lion. Let us make our soul a mirror in passion for a Joseph. Let us go before Joseph's beauty with a present. 
let us be silent, that the giver of speech may say this, even as he shall say, so let us go. Shadow and Light Source Both How does a part of the world leave the world? How does wetness leave water? Don't try to put out fire by throwing on more fire. Don't wash a wound with blood. No matter how fast you run, your shadow keeps up. Sometimes it's in front. Only full overhead sun diminishes your shadow. But that shadow has been serving you. What hurts you, blesses you. Darkness is your candle. Your boundaries are your quest. I could explain this, but it will break the glass cover on your heart, and there's no fixing that. You must have shadow and light source both. Listen and lay your head under the tree of awe. When from that tree feathers and wings sprout on you, be quieter than a dove. Don't even open your mouth for even a coo. Sleep of the body, the soul's awakening. Every night thou freest our spirits from the body and its snare, making them pure as raised tablets. Every night spirits are released from this cage and set free, neither lording it nor lorded over. At night prisoners are unaware of their prison, at night kings are unaware of their majesty. Then there is no thought or care for loss or gain, no regard to such and one or such and one. The state of the no is such as this, even when awake. God says, to would steam him awake though asleep, sleeping to the affairs of the world, day and night, like a pen in the directing hand of the writer. He who sees not the hand which affects the writing fancies the effect proceeds from the motion of the pen. If the no revealed the particulars of this state, t'would rob the vulgar of their sensual sleep. His soul wanders in the desert, that has no similitude like his body. His spirit is enjoying perfect rest, freed from desire of eating and drinking, like a bird escaped from cage and snare. But when he is again beguiled into the snare, he cries for help to the Almighty. Soul receives from soul. Soul receives from soul that knowledge, therefore not by book nor from tongue. If knowledge of mysteries come after emptiness of mind, that is illumination of heart that lives in us. If you put your hands on this or with me, they will never harm another, and they will come to find they hold everything you want. If you put your hands on this oar with me, they would no longer lift anything to your mouth that might wound your precious land that sacred earth that is your body. If you put your soul against this oar with me, the power that made the universe will enter your sinew from a source not outside your limbs, but from a holy realm that lives in us. Exuberant is existence, time a husk. When the moment cracks open, ecstasy leaps out and devours space love goes mad with the blessings, like my words give. Why lay yourself on the torturer's rack of the past and future? The mind that tries to shape tomorrow beyond its capacities will find no rest. Be kind to yourself, dear to our innocent follies. Forget any sounds or touch you knew that did not help you dance. You will come to see that all evolves us. If you put your heart against the earth with me, in serving every creature, our beloved will enter you from our sacred realm, and we will be, we will be, so happy. The Agony and Ecstasy In the orchard and rose garden I long to see your face, in the taste of sweetness, I long to kiss your lips, in the shadows of passion I long for your love, O oh, Supreme Lover. Let me leave aside my worries. The flowers are blooming with the exultation of your spirit. By law, I long to escape the prison of my ego and lose myself in the mountains and the desert. These sad and lonely people tire me. I long to revel in the drunken frenzy of your love and feel the strength of Rustam in my hands. I'm sick of mortal kings. I long to see your light. With lamps in hand, the sheiks and mullahs roam, the dark alleys of these towns, not finding what they seek. You are the essence of the essence, the intoxication of love. I long to sing your praises, but stand mute, 
with the agony of wishing in my heart. The beauty of the heart. The beauty of the heart is the lasting beauty its lips give to drink of the water of life. Truly it is the water that which pours and the one who drinks. All three become one when your alisman is shattered. That oneness you can't know by reasoning. The breeze at dawn. The breeze at dawn has secrets to tell you. Don't go back to sleep. You must ask for what you really want. Don't go back to sleep. People are going back and forth across the door sill where the two worlds touch. The door is round and open. Don't go back to sleep. The chance of humming. A man standing on two logs in a river might do all right floating with the current, while humming in the now. Though, if one log is tied to a camel, who is also heading south along the bank at the same pace all could still be well, with the world unless the camel thinks he forgot something, and abruptly turns upstream, then, oh, most minds do not live in the present, and can stick to a reasonable plan most minds abruptly turn and undermine the chance of humming. The Guest House This being human is a guest house, every morning a new arrival, a joy, a depression, a meanness, some momentary awareness comes as an unexpected visitor. Welcome and entertain them all. Even if they are a crowd of sorrows, who violently sweep your house empty of its furniture, still treat each guest honorably. He may be clearing you out for some new delight. The dark thought, the shame, the malice, meet them at the door laughing and invite them in. Be grateful for whoever comes, because each has been sent as a guide from beyond. The meaning of love. Both light and shadow are the dance of love. Love has no cause, it is the astrolabe of God's secrets. Lover and loving are inseparable and timeless. Although I may try to describe love when I experience it I am speechless. Although I may try to write about love I am rendered helpless. My pen breaks and the paper slips away at the ineffable place where lover, loving and loved are one. Every moment is made glorious by the light of love. The Privileged Lovers The moon has become a dancer at this festival of love. This dance of light, this sacred blessing, this divine love beckons us to a world beyond only lovers can see with their eyes of fiery passion. They are the chosen ones who have surrendered. Once they were particles of light, now they are the radiant sun. They have left behind the world of deceitful games. They are the privileged lovers who create a new world with their eyes of fiery passion. Translated by Feria Down Kier. The ravings which my enemy uttered die heard within my heart. The ravings which my enemy uttered I heard within my heart the secret thoughts he harbored against me I also perceived. His dog bit my foot, he showed me much injustice I do not bite him like a dog, I have bitten my own lip. Since I have penetrated into the secrets of individuals like men of God, why should I take glory in having penetrated his secret? I reproach myself that through my doubtings it so happened that purposely I drew a scorpion towards my own foot. Like Eblis who saw nothing of Adam except his fire, by God I was invisible to his insignificant Eblis. Convey to my friends why I am afflicted in mind when the snake bit my thigh I started away from the black rope. The blessed silent ones, their lips and eyes closed be why away unknown to any man. I ran into their thoughts. Since there is a secret and perfect way from heart to heart, I gathered gold and silver from the treasuries of hearts. Into the thought that was like a brazen stove I flung the dead dog out of the thought that was like a rose bower I plucked roses and jasmine. If I have hinted at the evil and good of my friends, I have spun flax like a weaver as the choicest veil. When my heart rushed suddenly to a heart mighty and aware, out of awe for his heart I fluttered like the heart. As you are happy with your own state, how did you fall in with me? Attend to your own business, 
for I am neither sheikh nor disciple. As far as you are concerned, brother, I am neither copper nor red gold drive me from your door, for I am neither lock nor key. Take it as if I had not ever spoken these words if you had been in my mind, by God I would not have quarreled. The Rubiat of Rumi 1. Time bringeth swift to end the route men keep. Death's wolf is nigh to rend these silly sheep. See how in pride they go with lifted head, till fate with a sudden blow smitteth them dead. 2. Thou who lovest, life a crow, winter's chill and winter's snow, ever exiled from the vale's roses red and nightingales, take this moment to thy heart. When the moment shall depart, long thou elt seek it as it flies with a hundred lamps and eyes. 3. The heavenly rider passed, the dust rose in the air, he sped, but the dust he cast yet hangeth there. Straight forward thy vision be, and gaze not left or night, his dust is here, and he in the infinite. 4. Who was he that said, the immortal spirit is dead? Or how dared he say, hope's son hath passed away? An enemy of the sun, standing his roof upon, bound up both his eyes, and cried low, the sun dies. 5. Who lifteth up the spirit, say, who is he? Who gave in the beginning this life to me? Who hooteth, life of falcons, a while mine eyes, but presently shall loose me to hunt my prize? 6. As salt resolved in the ocean, I was swallowed in God's sea, past faith, past unbelieving, past doubt, past certainty, Suddenly in my bosom, a star shone clear and bright. All the suns of heaven vanished in that star's light. Flowers every night, blossom in the sky, peace in the infinite, at peace am I. Sighs a hundredfold from my heart arise. My heart, dark and cold, flames with my sighs. 7. He that is my soul's repose round my heart encircling goes. Round my heart and soul of bliss he encircling is. Laughing from my earthy bed like a tree I lift my head, for the font of living mirth washes round my earth. 8. The breeze of the morn scatters musk in its drain, fragrance born from my fair love's lane. Ere the world wastes, sleep no more arise. The caravan hastes, the sweet scent dies. 9. If life be gone, fresh life to you God offereth, a life eternal to renew, this life of death, the font of immorality, in love is found, the come, and in this boundless sea of love be drowned. 10. Happy was I in the pearl's heart to lie, till, lashed by life's hurricane, life a tossed wave I ran, the secret of the sea I uttered thunderously. Like a spent cloud on the shore I slept, and stirred no more. 11. He set the world aflame, and laid me on the same. A hundred tongues of fire lapped round my pyre. And when the blazing tide engulfed me, and I sighed, Upon my mouth in haste his hand he placed. 12. Though every way I try his whim to satisfy, His every answering word is a pointed sword, See how the blood drips from his fingertips. Why does he find it good to wash in my blood? 13. Remembering thy lip, the ruby red Igus, having not that to sip, my lips press this, not to thy far sky, reaches my stretched hand, wherefore kneeling, I embrace the land. 14. I sought a soul in the sea and found a coral there, beneath the foam for me, an ocean was all laid bare, into my heart's night along a narrow way. I groped and lo, the light, an infinite land of day. Chill books. Audiobooks with relaxing music, visuals and subtitles to help you stay engaged.